Today I'm going to be talking about the cusp of power, which are on now. So April the 17th through April 23rd. So we're at a transitional point between Taurus and Aries. So let's begin with Aries. So Aries is the first sign of the zodiac and the first fire sign of the zodiac. It is very um, energetic, bold, brave, and very steadfast. Aries really, really likes the chase, and it needs something to keep its spirit and fire going. And it is a cardinal sign, so bear in mind that they also make wonderful leaders um, because of that um, initiation and leadership ability and real alignment with, you know, what it is that you um, need, want your own goals and de desires and going after those things, um, achieving, taking ultimate advantage of the opportunity of life. Portis in the hair. Uh, this is what this cusp is all about. Aries is very strong, very masculine, very fast. It's ruled by Mars, the planet of action, aggression, assertion, motivation, drive, and all of those things. Taurus is ruled by Venus, the planet of love, self-worth, and your values, especially in the material plane. Uh, and Taurus is all about the material things. It's really being in the now and appreciating the nice feel of your feet on the floor and the, you know, the earth between your toes and nature and all of its gifts. Taurus is super duper stable, very, very patient, slow, not, you know, rushing around, not, you know, in a hurry to get somewhere, enjoying the process and slowly working towards that, um, reach the final destination. Well, the downsides of these signs are that Aries is very, um, pushy, controlling, arrogant, self-righteous in a way where it can hurt others. And Taurus is super fixed, super stubborn. There is a tight hold on things, not just material things, but also just I think situations where um, letting go, letting it just be water under the bridge, letting um, and sharing things, and also open mindedness to uh, you know other people's uh, ideas and you know bending uh, as well with Taurus and hoarding a lot of stuff. Um, as opposed to just letting it go and enjoying life. And so we have this transition, this cusp between Aries and Taurus. So if we take Aries energy and take it with the Taurus energy, we have somebody who is all those Aries traits and all of the Taurus traits. Um, you know, make great steady leaders when they say something, you can bet that they're going to fulfill it completely. They are dependable. They are, um, you know, very reliable, very in it for the long term. They are not going to um, let you down. They have a lot of courage and they can focus their attention, and they can achieve something. Now, the downside is this can be somebody who's very, very incredibly controlling, self-righteous, not really uh, letting others sort of control once in a while, um, compromising is another thing collaboration, um, open-mindedness, open-heartedness, leadership, 
control used in the best ways as opposed to the wrong ways. You know, the lower vibration type ways. So, I just thought that I would make this little video about this cusp and what it is all about. So we're on the cusp of power um, with Aries and Taurus. Um, the sun's going to enter Taurus in just a couple of days' time on April the 20th, and it's going to stay there up until May 20th, where the sun's going to shift into Gemini on May 20th. So, thank you for tuning in.